super and hell. Um, I mean, I love all that stuff. I'm uh, an escapist baby anyway. Um, but what's nice about this is, yes, it is uh, an extraordinary world, but it's also very human, very humane treatment. So for actors, that's fantastic because it's 3D. You know, it's something to latch on to. The scripts are lovely and everything is there. Um, but feed your imagination and fantastic to have him there as showrunner, very, very kind showrunner. And, and lovely Doug, who was super relaxed for a man in charge of such a giant a, army of uh, insanity. Yeah. yeah, no, it's, it's uh, I mean, as you know, his, his, his storytelling and his world building is so specific and detailed and yet so imaginative and, and original uh, that you, you feel very well taken care of. Uh, the, 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 the map is laid out very specifically for you. And it's just, it's fun. As Miranda was saying, like there is an element of humanity and connection and, and real emotion there. But it's also just fun to get to play in that way. You must have felt that way with the Harry Potter world too. But like, do you know what? I did, but less so because it was it felt more unreal yeah. in some strange way. You know, and also being trapped at Leaves is <laughs> Leaves and Studios wasn't, wasn't the, best. the best. We got to move around, you know, yeah. so that was nice. What do you find to be the most fun part of your character? What's the most I'm fun? Playing part? kind of a just an idiot is fun for me. Uh, the person whose confidence is so misplaced, and yet they don't care. Does anyone uh, in real life inspire you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I think we can all just kind of identify with people who are so confident in their, in their opinions, and yet are so deeply wrong. Uh, I don't need to point out that there may be a few people from present day that, that fit that in there. that fit that description. I mean. But yeah, no, that that part of it was really fun, and part and also it was, it was cool to be able to play a, a thing that kind of didn't wasn't from the book. Really, mm -hmm. it was mentioned in the book. You never, you never really see him or or have a scene with him. And then to have Neil there to kind of shepherd him along, presenting questions. You know, is this remotely what you want? Always answer your question. Always. I mean, always. He obviously knows the book like the back of his hand because he wrote it with the back of his hand. In front of his hand. Did you find any challenges in playing this character? Like different from well, I, it's what always, you typically it's play? It's always a challenge coming to anything. There's always that sort of terror of the first day of school. Yeah. Uh, we work on that. <laughs> we need that. But also getting a chance for me, I, I've worked in London extensively, over in the UK extensively, mm -hmm. and uh, I really enjoy it. And, but for me to get the chance to work with Edelman Miranda, with Michael and David and uh, Michael McKean and everyone else that was involved uh, with this was just a, it wasn't necessarily intimidating because you know you're going, you're surrounded by good people and yeah. talented people. But it sure was exciting. Yeah. Because he's not in the book, how is he integrated into the story, and how much do we get to actually see you? Uh, a lot. Okay. Uh, I, I mean, I'm not. I kind of pop in and out. I think Neil was saying. I think I'm in every episode, but I, I do sort of pop in and pop out. I'm basically, like, kind of, I'm the guy who's making, who keeps poking Michael in the back, saying, like, "Hey, you were meant to do this thing. Do it." Uh, but with a big smile on my face and you know, like a hearty slap on the back. Any inspiration from like an Office Space type boss? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Lumber. Uh, no, not, not not really, but there is something like that. Yeah, yeah that mm, right. Yeah, that guy. Uh, Miranda, what do you like about Madame Tracy? Um, I like the fact I, I feel she's a compassionate, humane person. I think there's no judgment, um, and she's just. I think she. I think she truly does see people. I think she sees what they need, and she would like to think that she can help. It's usually gentlemen, but um, in her capacity as a medium, then it's um, you know whoever whoever comes to her, and and she's like a she's like a sort of therapist in a way, without calling herself that. You know, um, I think she's 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 
she's making a living. I like, I like, she's just getting on with it, you know? She doesn't, she doesn't turn anyone away. I thought that was cute. <laughs> How is she work with new gaming in the, behind the scenes in the back? Such a comfort, such a relief. I mean, he's, he's very maternal, isn't he? Yeah. He's, he's so approachable and he's enthusiastic and excited about everything. And, as I said, has an answer for every question. You know, and it's an answer, it's not the answer. Yeah. He lets you play. He wants you to take it wrong with it, you know, which is really nice. Thank you, guys. Thanks so Thank much. You. Thank you so much. Thank you.